Please, sir, I have a wife and two beautiful daughters. Oh, I know. I want you to see them again. I really do. Oh, God. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no. I only want to play a game. What? What game? A game I like to call... Kidnap Kitchen. What? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Kidnap Kitchen, the competitive cooking show where five unsuspected contestants are forced to cook superb meals for our judges for high stakes. <laughs> five contestants, four rounds. Each round, a mystery dish will be selected and a mystery judge will eliminate one chef. The remaining chef will receive a super secret grand prize. Got it? Let's meet the chefs. Our first contestant is Derek Walters. Derek is a realtor in San Diego, California. Whoever is watching this, please call the police. I am being held here against my will. Sheila, Janice, Daddy. Look. Our next contestant is Eduardo Sanchez. Eduardo is the head chef at a highly acclaimed restaurant in Los Angeles, Farnicello's. Uh, Mr. Sanchez, you wanna say something? Our next contestant is. Ashley. No known surname, she is a patient at Wellington Insane Asylum on Staten Island. Are you okay? Our next contestant, Brad Eddington. He is majoring in sociology at West Virginia University. Yo, it's your boy Brad, repping Kappa Pi Alpha here on Kidnap Kitch. Dude, I've dreamed of being on this show since I was in pre K, dude. We're talking before K. So I'm ready to knock out this competition and win big. And our last contestant, Jamie Casper. She's a nutritionist at Seattle, Washington. All of the meals I cook are more progressive, animal-free, and vegan meals. I have celiac disease, so I don't deal well with gluten. I'm also deathly allergic to soy, all nuts, and legumes. Um, and I also hold myself at a very high standard of health. So, I can't cook with any processed foods. Our first round is spaghetti. Chefs, you have 30 minutes to make the best spaghetti you've ever made, or you will be eliminated. Uh, excuse me, what does elimination entail? Do we get to go home? You get to go home. To Heavenly Father. What? Trust me, Chef Derek. You do not want to be eliminated. You have 30 minutes to make the best spaghetti you've ever made in your life. Go! Yo, the first thing I thought when I heard the challenge was spaghetti was sweet. I love spaghetti. And I'm part Italian, so this should be a cakewalk. And then I remember like, I don't exactly know how to make spaghetti, so I'm gonna have to fall back on an old family recipe. All right, first rule of making a killer grilled cheese, get rid of the butts. These things just don't help you. Honestly, they kind of hurt you. I just get rid of them right away, and then uh, you just go from there. Really. <laughs> Yo, so like I put the. They didn't have any ingredients that meet my dietary standards, so I had to go outside and fetch them from my own. I might sue.
I turn to Chef Eduardo and he's just standing there like he's not even doing anything. I swear, I saw a fly land on his eye. He didn't even swat it. What did you put in that sauce earlier? Chefs, one minute. I heard Alex call one minute, and I, I, I looked at my plate, and I realized I haven't, I haven't cooked any noodles yet. I just had sauce, no noodles, so I just had to dump them onto the plate, uncooked. Chefs, stop cooking in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to judging. Your judge for this round is Grubby. Grubby, you may... Well, it appears that Chef Ashley has poisoned Judge Grubby. Chef Ashley will have to be disqualified as a standard punishment for poisoning a judge. Oh God, they're killing us! Only if you're eliminated, Chef Derek. Oh God! Let's move on to round two, pizza. Yo, the first thing I thought when I heard the challenge was pizza was, sweet, I love pizza. And I'm half Italian, so this should be a cakewalk. Then I remembered, like, I, I don't exactly know how to make pizza, so I'm gonna have to fall back on an old family recipe. What do you got there? It's, it's a form of dough. It's, it's something. It's baby a, cow? It's not a baby cow. It's, it's a form of dough, and it's, no animals were harmed. And make it I think. Nope, you don't need to fry. It's fine. It's just flour and water. I respect Sanchez's nonconformity to the man. You know, he's not cooking at all, he's just standing there, and I'm like, yeah, go him. So I don't really know how to make a like traditional pie, uh, like a pizza pie. So this is what I call a pizza pot pie. You just kind of put it in a bowl and you put the dough in there, and I put the sauce and the cheese on a little early. Man, you could call it Stockholm Syndrome or whatever, but like, I feel bad for whoever has to eat that pizza, man. Oh my God! First time, dude! You know how many times I've practiced that at the house! Holy crap, the boys are not gonna believe this, man. Oh. Yo, dude, my pizza's dope. That reminds me, one time, at the house, this pizza girl came, total 10. I was like, whoa. Like, in my mind, right when I opened the door, I was like, dude, me and the chick, we're vibing. Five minutes, chefs. Is that a butt? Is there two butts in this loaf of bread? What is this? I've got beef with that frat guy. Not like real beef, maybe like tofu beef? Cause he's making grilled cheese and does he even know what they put in the cheese? 
frat dudes. Okay, so now normally I would put this in the oven, but ovens use uh, so much heat that it, it creates, you know, the carbon emissions into the air and kills the ozone. So uh, we're gonna have a nice uh, raw vegan pizza. It's gonna be great. Chefs, I would like to introduce you for your judge for this round, Tabitha Stockman. Tabitha is a writer and food critic for Vegetarians Weekly. Pleased to meet you, chefs. Today, I will be judging your dishes on two criteria. One, does it taste good? Two, does it contribute to the systematic slaughter of innocent animals around the world purely for human enjoyment? Wonderful. Chefs, present your plates. Chef, that was the worst tasting piece of food I have had in my entire life. Chef, it is a pizza, but it's some damn fine grilled cheese. Very nice. Thank you. Walking piece of 43 years, 43 years of abstaining from meat, and you just ruined it in one fell swoop. Good night, my sweet prince. Good night. Mrs. Stockland, I apologize for this violation, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to continue judging. Get away! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to try Chef Jamie's dish? No! It looks delicious. I'm eliminating this piece of <laughs> Chef Eduardo! Wonderful. Chefs, congratulations. Chef Eduardo, you have been eliminated. Wonderful! The next round will be French toast. Begin! French toast? Yes! I actually know how to make this. I make it for my daughters all the time. Chicken Little laid those eggs. I decided to dedicate my dish to the Amazon rainforest, which is being depleted for resources daily. I think that the judges will really see the social message in this dish and choose me as the winner. Yo, the first thing I thought when I heard the challenge was French toast was, Sweet, I love French toast. And I'm part French, so like this should be a cakewalk. Uh, but then I remember like, I don't exactly know how to make French toast, so I had to fall back on an old family recipe. You know. I went for a more subtle approach to the grilled cheese this time. I didn't want to grill it too much. More natural look. Will? Chefs, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Chefs, put down your plates. Chef, I call time. I stop. I need to put my thing on my plate. Damn it, Chef, I call time. Time means you stop, food or no food. I will.
look at you like a fish and serve you with the chives for a garnish! I'm done. Very good. Chefs, your judge for this round will be Oliver. Oliver is a student enrolled at God's Little Lambs. She excels at macaroni art, which is why she's perfect for a food judge. Can you do me a favor? I want you to try each French toast and tell me which one is the worst. You like grilled cheese? Bananas, little girl? What I have for you here is a tribute to the Amazon forest atop a piece of French toast from France. Now, Ollie, can you tell me which one was the worst? No! It's a political statement about the mistreatment of Mother Nature in the Amazon! The disrepresentative the depletion of Mother Nature and all the good natural beauty butterflies! On to the final round. For the final round, you will be cooking grilled cheese. Grilled cheese? What luck! I think I got an old family recipe that'll knock this job out of the park! Dude, this is it. I've done grilled cheese every round. I gotta do something different. I gotta step it up. If I'm using all my cheese I have. What the hell's grilled cheese? Is, is that a thing? Do people make that? How do you make that? Do you just throw a hunk of cheese on the grill? Chefs, stop cooking in three, two, one. Chefs, job well done. We will move into the final round of judging, and your judge is Brett Smith. Brett is a student at West Virginia University, majoring in business with a minor in culinary arts. Brett Nader. I know that ain't my boy. These guys are buddies. I don't know how to make grilled cheese, and I'm pretty sure this Brad guy only knows how to make grilled cheese. I'm done. I'm dead. Karen, please tell the kids that I love. Chef Smith, you may begin judging. It's definitely not traditional, but your take on a deconstructed, inverted grilled cheese is simply brilliant. The flavors blend so beautifully together, and the seasoning is eloquent. And it all just comes together in that sauce. Put her there. There's no sauce on it, I didn't season it, and he's just way misinterpreting it, but I, hey, I'm okay with it. I love you, man. You like it, bro? No. I really didn't. Your bread is way overcooked, and your cheese to bread ratio is completely off. On top of that, your choice in cheese is downright disgusting and reflects reckless preparation. And it's overcooked, chef. The cheese is way too melty. 
it's making a mess and the bread crumbs are getting everywhere, which I in no way enjoyed. You are easily eliminated, chef. Get him out of my sight. What? Bro, bro, have a pie alpha. The family recipe. Bro, I, I thought, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Oh my god. Congratulations, you've just won Kidnap Kitchen. You're just terrible people. You're just awful. That's right, you've just won the secret grand prize a $15 gift card to Steak and Shake. Does this mean I can go home to see my family? <laughs> of course not. You're now the reigning champion of Kidnap Kitchen. And you'll be on next week's episode. And you'll continue to compete until you're dethroned. And then we have to kill you. It's got a lot of power, honey. It makes me feel like that. Tune in.